Hi Taurus, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and we're doing your weekly love reading. So let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and meditated on your cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up. And I would love it if you... If you blah, blah, blah. If you subscribe to my channel, I'm sorry. My, my throat is getting dry. So yeah, give me a few seconds after the shuffle. I will take a sip of water. I'm feeling parched. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I am very grateful to each and every one of you. And as a way of saying thank you, I will be giving away one personal reading at the end of the month. Um, if you wanna, if you are interested in winning a personal reading with me, all you have to do is stay tuned to the end of this video, and I will be announcing the mechanics. All right. Oh. Your challenge for this reading, 8, 8, and 8. Man, you could be seeing a lot of 8s during this time. All right, 8, 8, 8. So there are changes coming towards you. Give me a few seconds. I just want to take a sip of water. Taurus. Your challenge for this reading is the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Swords. And then the Eight of Cups. You're very anxious about someone who... You're very up in your head about someone who walked away from you. Alright? You're trying to figure out how to rebuild your life. You could be very much focused on your work right now or you could have lost a lot of money because of this person so you're focused on how to build your finances. But overall, you're, you're trying to figure out. That's a challenge. You're trying to figure out how to rebuild your life. I'm getting you built your world around this person. That is the energy. Please don't shoot the messenger when I say it. You have the five of pentacles as your overall energy. So Taurus... Currently, you feel very isolated. You feel very left out in the cold. Someone just left the situation. Probably ghosted you. Or there's just no communication between the two of you. They just ended it then and there. So very much out in the cold during this time, during this week. Um, you could be having a lot of sleepless nights. This is someone, you're, the, the person you're dealing with is someone very non-committal. Someone who comes in and in and out of your life very hot very passionate love bombs you but then ghosts you this is someone who cannot commit towards you to you and you're losing a lot of sleep you're very anxious you're overthinking you're i'm getting a feeling that you're questioning self-worth why the cards aren't there but i'm getting that feeling questioning self-worth why can't this person choose me that's what i'm getting but 
All right. You have the death card to the four of swords. So yes, this was an ending. This was an ending of a cycle. And you haven't healed. Clearly, you haven't healed from the situation. But there is very beautiful transformation coming towards you. You haven't seen, you don't see it yet. You don't see it coming yet. You don't realize that you're in that transformation. But you are. You're going to heal from this, Taurus. You're going to heal from this. You could, be, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. These are two Scorpio cards here. Or you could simply have Scorpio placements. But what I'm getting here is... It will take some time to heal. It will take some time to heal. All right. You have the tower to the the five of wands. All right. So what I'm getting here is the reason why you get tower cards is because spirit wants you to see that the foundations of a relationship that you are in is not strong it's weak it crumbles this person has put you in a situation where you feel that you have to compete for their attention rather than that there's always a lot of conflict between the two of you there's always a lot of arguments there's lack of compromise But the tower card here is the universe telling you that, hey, it's a wake-up call. Hey, you need to understand that there is no solid foundation between the two of you. That's the universe's way of letting you see that the cycle should end because their foundations aren't strong when i say the cycle has to end it doesn't mean that you have to fully break up and forget it's your will of course but if you choose if this person comes back to you and if you choose to be back with this person it's a way of saying that you have to rebuild stronger foundations with this person. You have to rebuild. All right. The overall outcome is the six of, and this person is, want, is wanting to come back towards you. All right. The overall outcome of the situation is the six of, the six of cups, the knight of cups, and then the king of swords. All right, this person is planning to come back towards you. This is someone from your past wanting to come back towards you, wanting to offer you love. They realize that they should have offered this to you. This person is planning on how to come back towards you because they know they hurt you. They know it won't be easy to come back to you, Taurus. So they're planning. They're really strategizing about it. This is also an international card. So you could be dealing with someone from another country, a different culture. But take it how it resonates. The King of Swords is an international card. So for some of you, it might resonate that you're dealing with someone at a long distance or a different culture than you. What is the advice for you? The advice for you is the Page of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and then the, the Four of Wands. All right. Okay. This is a very specific advice by Spirit. Should you choose 
you have a choice whether or not you want to be with this person all right if this person offers you new love or a renewed cup of love it's your choice but you have to figure out if this person really wants the long-term commitment with you you have to understand if this person has the same goals as you which i presume long-term commitment you have the choice but i'm getting choose wisely take your time to choose all right what are the other messages from spirit you have chemistry all right chemistry there is a strong magnetic attraction here so yeah probably that's why this person is coming back towards you because they feel magnetized to you all right and then You have patience. There's a reason why you have to wait. Patience. You have to heal. Patience. Alright, so I hope something in this reading resonated, Taurus. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. And leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. If you are interested in winning a personal reading with me, all you have to do is write in the comment section down below. Well, number one, you have to be subscribed to my channel. Number two, write in the comment section down below, what is meant for me will never pass me by. What is meant for me will never pass me by, all right? That is you affirming to yourself that you don't need to chase love. You don't need to hold on so dearly to it. You don't need to go out looking for it, hard finding it, all right? Because what is meant for you will always be for you. It will always come back to you. It will always come to you naturally all right so i hope something in this reading resonated i'll see you in the next reading i love you all and stay blessed